Hey you right guys, Trish Munches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 1 of The 100 Season 6. Finally it's returned, uh, I've missed the show so much. Season 5 I thought was fantastic. I still don't think it was the best season of the show but I really really enjoyed it. I actually want to go back through the ratings of Season 5. But I'm very very excited to see what they do with the season because they can really change things up finally. I think the show's needed something different uh like something huge that will change things up for a while and i think this will definitely do that they have that with season five as well but it was like with four and five is just like those kind of like little little changes here and there um minus like obviously the premieres and the finales and stuff but kind of throughout the entire season whereas here i feel like every episode could genuinely be something we haven't seen before from the 100 while still keeping it familiar and stuff you still want it to feel like the 100 um but hopefully you get across what i'm saying with that looking back to be fair though season five there was only one episode that i thought was eh, which was judging from this episode six which jesus this this finished in august god it's not even been that long it's felt like so much longer since august when this wrapped up but it, it did start in april so i mean it's about, it's about time uh, we get it coming back but yeah, obviously they all went to space, did a huge time skip, now on a completely different planet, and I'm excited to see. I think I was gonna, like, I'm excited to see what the villain and the threat of season six will be, and unfortunately the trailer did spoil quite a bit with regards of what to expect from at least the first few episodes of this season. Um, but I'm still very, very excited nonetheless. I think this is one of, if not the best teen drama there is at the moment probably is uh one of the best cw shows again if not the best cw show at the moment i'd really have to like rack through uh lists of that to find out which is but yeah going from rating to season five we had a couple of tens here and there uh quite a few eights a few sevens and then one six so high expectations for this season guys and i like that it just sticks to 13 episodes it doesn't the 100's never gone like, oh, we'll do 25 episodes now, because we, you know. And it's already been renewed for season 7 as well, so yeah, there we go. Episode 1, though, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe. I'll be trying to do these every single week when they're out, even though this one is a day late, which I apologise for, but I'm getting caught up with Riverdale and the 100, because um, yeah, I was busy last week and only just got around to it. Uh, and yeah, we'll be doing uncut reactions to every episode as well, so if you want access to those, the link to the Patreon page will be down below. I believe there are uncuts to Season 4 as well, if you didn't get a chance to check those out. And yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, also down below. Cut for now, my friends. Let's do this. They went looking for another planet. Great ending. Oh, we're doing... Yeah, of course we would have a new intro, surely. You know, they could do so much with this. I really hope they don't ruin this, like, opportunity they've got here. Judging from life is going to end of book one though, surely there's so much more of this show to go. Say they do like three books within the show. We have like, it'd be like a 12 season show or something. More than that, depending on how long certain books are. How we get our humanity back. Some of us never lost it. Raven! Spending a lifetime alone with someone you love. Sounds pretty damn good to me. Don't try and make out your lover already. Where can we go? Have Have sex in space. That'd be sick. The point your hazmat suits. I know they're not hazmat suits. Curve. Fly out there. I'm sure there's like a tube you can use to... You're just trying to get me to have sex with you again. <laughs> I mean, can you play with these? <laughs> to be tortured. No, if a Clark would call that a Tuesday. Easy. She did the right thing in the end. No, I haven't seen them. Why are you all having to go cock? <laughs> like Murphy hasn't fucked up a billion times. Abby can die. I'm actually shocked Abby is still alive. Nothing. It's about time. Take a seat. Okay, everyone. Guess that's Raven and Murphy not happening then. Listen up. Here's what we Which is just piss me off, really. But... We won't shoot first. In that case, Clark should stay here. Raven. What's going on? What? Shut up, Raven. 
Like hell I am. Like we can't see digs a clock. I've not been the biggest fan of clock 24-7, but she's kept you alive 90% of the time. Just what? I know it's hard, which is why we should take our best fighters. My sister is the last person I trust not to shoot first. She stays on us. Oh, bloody Octavia. Tragic. And if it's too late by then. Thanks for taking me. That must have been hard for you. Even after I threw you in the pit. My sister did that. No, I Miller was a prick. I have not forgiven Miller. Okay. Miller was such a knob last right, season. It was unbelievable. Right behind you. Stop smiling and put us over that instead. He could be quite a good character. We'll see, we'll see. Boys and girls, meet Planet Alpha. Meet the green screen. <laughs> Yo, that actually looks sick. Please be breathable. Please be breathable. It's not breathable! <laughs> Yo, season one vibes. Fucking uh, Imagine Dragons radioactive just starts playing. And then the cringe comes back. The cringe returns. About that beacon shot. We should go first this time. No. We go together. All of us. <laughs> we go together. All the. Better than we're back, bitches. Uh, yes, thank God they called that out because that was a cringe moment. Jesus. Yes. Yeah, the Bellamy and Clark fans were like, oh, they're gonna go together, and then it's like, no, we all go together, and then they're like, fuck, damn. That's easy to Thought they were gonna burn. Yo, I ain't killable. I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm done. I'm going off. They're all so grateful, little shits, man. Like, they're all perfect and they've done no wrong. Thank you, Monty. That's right, mate. If anything, Miller, Miller and Octavia need to want to fuck up. Oh, whatever, man. Hey, Clark. Yeah, yeah, don't want to help me. I'm just going to shoot me in the head. Tell me. But, where's that mood or something? I don't really. Mom and Dad loved this. Yeah, probably. I'll be right back. Oh, I kind of like him. He's cute. Monty's algae is working, and Marcus is prepped for surgery. Fine. Just take what you need. Ha! <laughs> no one likes you, Abby. I'd be more pissed at Abby than Clark as well. Like Abby just did my bloody head in last Very season. I'm sorry, I might bother apologizing. Yeah, just pipe yes. down, Abby. I'm clean now. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You know if I murdered someone's family while on drugs and then after I was like, oh, but I'm clean now. Missing the way it makes you feel. They're not going to forgive me, are they? Like, it's... Scratch that. My mother may have been a drunk who sold herself for booze. She never hurt. She never oh. me. Go in, Raven. I'll never torture. I don't even feel bad for Abby. I know I'm going to get comments like, you should really sympathise with Abby because she made a mistake. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Where's my brother? Like we found the water God, source. bloody hell. I know Octavia tried in a couple of scenes to. That's sick. Uh, tried a couple of times to make up for season five, but again, like Abby, I'm just not there yet. <laughs> Definitely season one vibes at the moment. I like that. We camp here. Murphy, wait, we haven't tested it. Yeah. Your wounds haven't healed yet. <laughs> he just burns alive. It's not sad. <laughs> Megalodon! <laughs> I wish, you know, you know if I was a writer, this show would be jokes. We needed to survive. That's why you did the things that you did. No. Period. Yeah, all right, mate. It was... I never good enough. Yeah, it ain't good enough for me, mate. Sorry, chap. <laughs> it might take a few episodes. Raven will get the radio fixed. You're like, you fixed everyone's death. Clark? No, I'm gonna take a dig at her. I go back and do things differently. But I can't. Everyone should be saying that. Murphy, Bellamy. For some reason. Thing, but this is like your fifth chance. Yours too, Murphy. Yeah, go right. Not bad. I love Murphy, but. Very good. What you do, not what you say. You haven't done anything yet. All right, mate, but you're on the enemy team this time last season. What? what? My God, you, you only stopped because you fucking had a hard on for Raven. You guys gotta see this. What the hell is that? 
Swarm. Yo, that looks mad. Yes. What? Like, they, they would have been killed. Look how many there is. What the fuck's that? That's what I like most about, like, being on a new planet. There's so much more to discover now. That looks awful, right? the electric there, or whatever that's meant to be. Yo! Okay, but the insects will be quicker than them. Don't waste it. I mean, fair play, they're killing someone off already. She didn't think she does, but... <laughs> Wait, I just realised they're killing off someone else that Raven cares about. Oh my god. Wow. They re- the writers must hate Raven. They- I think Raven's had a total of five seconds of happiness in six seasons. Do you think the- do you think the actor just didn't want to be in the show anymore or what? I don't, I don't know, it's just... He's like, it should have been Miller or something, why him? You yeah. only just got to know him, really. Bit of a waste. I don't think it should have been him who died. Except he's gonna be in pain. By keeping essential medicine for Marcus. So Kane's awake? That's why you're here, right? Maybe you shouldn't take Alan Kane, though. you're just checking your stash. The faster you fall off the wagon and kill yourself, the sooner we can move on. Jesus! <laughs> I mean, I don't like coming, but I don't think I'd be saying that to a Jesus Christ. Addie's still up there, you're not worried you're never gonna see her again. Whoa, 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 easy, easy. The clock's out and off, don't blame Ignore him. It's therapeutic as it is to beat up on Murphy. Ignore I thought him. Murphy had changed up a bit. Why are they sure. trying to make out he's like season one Murphy again or something? successful landing in a ship I trained in for six years. Yeah, the castle. Well, I want to see it. Even though I saw it in the trailer already. Eh, no, I didn't see that. I might have seen that. Very, uh, Far Cry 5. I like it. Far Cry New Dawn, I should say. That was cool. We can't be just... Uh, this one's unlocked. Murphy's pissing me off. Let's not make any hostels, let's go in with guns in, like, where is everyone? Steel stuff as well, I mean, yeah, this is great. We sent an exploratory team down there. And we lost contacts, uh, one's already dead. Um, She'll be fine. So, I mean, great stuff. Having everything we did happen so we could get here. I mean, you're only at the end of book one, Kane, so... Then you're a bigger fool than him. I would bloody go. Where's Nyla? Where's Nyla? People she shouldn't have. You think you're better than me, Kane? Yeah, he is! The man who caused 300 of his own people to die on the Ark when the ground was yeah, survivable. But... You think you're better than me, Kane? That you've learned from your mistakes? If it was up to you... Oh, Kane, you shut up, man! She became a traitor! Man, whinging all the time, like she's. Have to burn down the farm. You live in a shit world. Kane made some shit choices. You made ten times worse. <laughs> You're still lost. <laughs> really, really, I'll tell you. Wait, what? They're not gonna kill Kane off as well. Yo, he looks dead. Nyla! Nyla! They've just killed Kane off like that. That's such an underwhelming death if that's for Kane. I said it like pressure. That's so shit. They should have just killed him off at the end of last season. Oh no, okay. They're not done with him yet. Okay, fine. I was going to say, you might as well have just killed him off at the end of last season if they were going to kill him off like that. He's still alive. But he's still alive, so never mind. What the fuck, Patrick Starr? Yeah, fine. I'm just tired. See, it'd be kind of cool if we'd be like, oh, what's going on here? Like, if they did stuff like that. But we know they just all end up high and trying to fight kill each other because of the trailer completely spoiling it. And now you are free! <laughs> Sorry, we're just like, Red Sun Rising. They're all hiding because of the sun, maybe? 
Yeah. Yeah, if all the trader wanted to do with the sun or something. Like, I can't remember that. I wish Maddie could have gone to school. I'm not going to rewatch the trailer because it's, yes. I wish our team could have. Shaved way too much. Even though you didn't answer, I, it kept me sane. It's not crazy. Aww. A little pathetic, maybe, but <laughs> it's, it's not crazy. Yeah. I'm going to go and watch the Murphy show. That's, that's cute. When the stars align and the forest wakes. It's time to run away. <laughs> yeah, you need to get the fucking cold. Don't tell Ozen this. Ozen, Ozai. No, no! Oh, wow. They're stealing our ship! No, God! <laughs> they left it there, unguarded. Yo, what the fuck? My, she's going for it. Yo, if they kill Murphy off. Yeah, this is where they start attacking each other and stuff. So if you're safe. Oh, you're all bloody exposed now as well. It's in the air. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Okay, there we go, guys. That is episode one of the 100 season six. Good start, I enjoyed it. Um, I like the best part about it being that we're on a new planet. Because uh, if this was something that was going down on the old planet, just I would have just been like, oh, another situation to deal with. Oh dear. Um, but at least we've got somewhere new to look at and enjoy, and you know, all these different places and secrets they can uncover about it. Uh, so it does have a lot of potential. Um, However, there's some things in there I thought were a little bit eh. Like, killing off Raven's boyfriend I thought was just so unnecessary. Uh, I'm assuming that the actor maybe found a different job or something because it just felt so... Like, you build this character in season five and then the start of this episode it was about their relationship and hinting that they loved each other. Um, and like sometimes shows work when they just kill off a character randomly like that, like, oh, shock value, like, okay, cool. Uh, but for that one, I don't think it was necessary. I think they should have killed off Miller, um, if anyone, like, or, yeah, Miller. I'd say Miller was should have been the choice for that. Because he's a character that we've known since season one. He's had a, you know, shitty season last season. And to me, there's no really coming back for his character at the end of the day. Like, I know he feels a bit shit about what he did, but... I just felt like Miller has really run his course as a character. Um, he's never been that interesting. He's had moments, sure, but... Whereas that character, I didn't even feel like he really reached his potential. Like, he just died. And like they were like, oh yeah, he died saving us all. No, he didn't. Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, you know how to do the fence stuff. I, yeah, I guess he kind of did, but he still ran into it like an idiot. It, it wasn't a death. It was a death that wasn't really needed. Um, preferably, they shouldn't have really killed anyone out of that group, I don't think, really here. Because that character there, he should have died... I think it actually would have been a better death if Amori, Amori killed him at the end there. Like, say she just, like he was next to her and then she just stabbed him or something at the end of the episode. And then she went after Murphy. Um, that would have been like, yo, what the fuck's going on kind of thing. But that we saw the fence, then he ran into it and died when Raven deserves it. It was just like, very, eh, okay. Like, I, j I think it would, this is how I would have done the episode. You have a Mori, go psycho there at the end, and she stabs Miller in the neck, and then she goes out, and then Miller dies, and then she goes after Murphy. That would have been such a, like, ending on such a huge bang kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, ready for the season, get me into more. But here he just kind of like, okay, well, when Mori went a bit, and stabbed Murphy, like, stabbed, slashed uh, Murphy, and that was kind of it. Um, I'm glad they didn't kill Kane off, because that would have been a very underwhelming death. And again, I would have just been like, just have him die at the end of last season. I do think it's because the actor, Henry Ian Gusak, or whatever you say his name, he is in another show at the moment. And I'm guessing what they've done here is they've put him in this ice cube to be like, okay, he's not dead, but the actor's not part of the show at, at the moment, but we'll bring him back when he's ready to be part of the show again. Is that kind of how they've done that? Because um, it did feel very... 
forced to have him you know he woke back up he's like oh shit i'm back and he's like okay cool he's back and then he's just dying he's like, eh. again a bit underwhelming I, luckily he didn't actually die so they could still do a lot of cane uh but obviously they came in guns blazing it was just like pipe down you're being a twat um everyone going off at clark about random shit like she hasn't saved their lives a million times like i said yes clark has messed up she messed up last season but they all did Every character has messed up at some point. Every character messed up last season apart. Apart from Bellamy, I feel like. He didn't really mess up that much. He's been the only one who hasn't messed up as much as the rest. And I guess maybe Ray, Ray, maybe, like, maybe Raven. Um, so yeah, I don't... Uh, one second. So yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, New Planet. Really enjoyed that. Raven going off at Abbey, I thought, was very... Pretty well done. I enjoyed that. Um, she, uh, Abby needed to be taken a notch down. The, the line being like, oh, we'll get it, kill yourself and get it over with kind of thing was maybe a bit harsh. But I mean, it was an entertaining scene still. Um, you know, was that part of the same scene? I think that was part of, it was a different scene. So, and yeah, everyone going off a clock. And then. The swarm stuff wasn't that interesting. Like, okay, cool. But I do like that they're on a new planet. I think it was a good start. It's a good introduction. Um, I'm curious what they, how, this whole everyone turning against each other thing, how that's going to last 13 episodes and it still be interesting. So, because that's like the main nemesis at the moment is that as an idea and that's how the trailer portrayed it. So, we shall see. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the episode. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. I think it was good. There was a couple of things there that I wasn't too sure on, but I'm excited. I'm glad to have the 100 back finally. I've missed it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching though guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, let me know what the episode down below in the comments. If you do want the uncut reaction to this episode and the rest coming up for season 6, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below. And I'll see you next time for episode 2. Until then, peace.